So in the past like two months, I've lost about 15 pounds. This is the first time I've successfully lost weight, felt amazing and all that. So I just wanna break down how I got here, what I'm doing, how I'm changing my lifestyle, and just like any questions you guys might have about this. I'm gonna try to be very to the point. So I have some notes here and I'm gonna break it up into a few sections. My goals going into it, what worked for me, the diet, exercise, and how I feel now slash my results and all that kind of stuff. Before we hop into everything, I wanna talk about today's sponsor, which is Pear eyewear. These are the glasses that I got from them and they're genuinely so amazing. My first reaction when I put them on was like, whoa, these are actually really good quality and they're super cute. And I've been wearing them every day since. These are my favorite glasses I've ever owned because of this. Sunglasses now, are you kidding me? These are prescription, so I need them, especially when I'm driving. Problem solved. Not only can I do sunglasses, but I can also just change the colors. So I got some black, and then burgundies. It just magnets on, like boop. I'm wearing the Reese frames because I feel like this shape just matches my face really well. And the best part is that they are so affordable. You're able to switch up your style starting at $25. They have over 650 unique top frames for you to choose from. You can get just some regular style, sunglasses, blue light glasses, and you can get non-prescription glasses. I genuinely love my pair of eyewear glasses, so if you guys wanna check them out, just click the link in the description for 15% off. And let's continue with today's video. First off, my goals going into this. So not only did I wanna lose weight and it may have kind of started that way, but I wanted to have long-term positive health effects with myself because I wanna be able to be an 80 year old grandma running around with my grandkids, not having any like major health issues that come from the foods you eat and the exercise that you do. I love thinking of food as fuel and like a positive, happy thing and not something to feel bad about, get sick over, those kind of things. I wanted to sustain my energy levels throughout the day, lose fat, gain muscle, of course, always kind of in the goals and overall do what makes my body feel good I wanted to feel good every single day not wake up tired not need a nap in the middle of the day and then I think the coolest part about this was one of my goals that I have going forward that I've learned is discipline and getting over addictions I feel like people don't like to acknowledge the fact that a lot of people are addicted to food at least I was I'm not gonna speak for other people uh, food was my comfort I went to it for emotional support I would overindulge all the time and it's just like not good for my body. I would feel crappy. It could have negative health effects long term. So what worked and what didn't work as far as weight loss and reaching these goals? What didn't work is not changing my food habits and only working out. I started this journey back in like March. I started working out six days a week for like an hour or so every day that I worked out. And I barely lost any weight. I didn't see a huge difference. I did obviously have some positive changes and there's a lot of positive stuff around just working out. But to actually get the results that I was looking for, I needed to change my food. So I could never figure out a way of eating that I could actually stick to or anything like that. So I guess what worked, what didn't work is just working out without changing your diet. I know we all hate to hear, but what did work is following a diet. I personally don't like to think of it as a diet. I think it's more of a lifestyle change and doing what makes your body feel good. And what does work is doing the 80-20 rule. So basically it means 80% of the time you're eating according to your diet and then 20% of the time you're having some sweets or whatever. And what works for me with that is usually like Sunday to Friday, I'm eating really good. Usually on the weekends is when I will kind of have some sweets or whatever. And then going with the 80-20 rule, if you think of the whole year, if 80% of the year I'm eating pretty good and then around the holidays, the last two months of the year, that last 20%, I don't know if it's actually 20%, I'm indulging a little bit more in stuff that I wouldn't normally eat. Once again, I'm thinking long-term health goals, long-term keeping fat off, that kind of stuff. I think holidays is like, you know, maybe I'll change my mind in the future, but I'm definitely gonna be eating eating good food on Thanksgiving, on Christmas. You know what I'm saying? So now let's get into the specific diet that I'm doing that works for me. I'm not saying everyone has to do this. Of course, always do research on your own and what is gonna work for you. I'm not a dietitian or a nutritionist or anything like that. This is just what's been working for me. I've been able to lose about 15 pounds in the last two months and it just keeps coming off. I'm doing the carnivore diet or the keto diet. I'll get into that in a second. Basically, the goal is to be high protein, high fat, low carb. And the carnivore diet specifically is any animal product you could eat and pretty much that's it. So meat, 
butter, dairy. It seems really restrictive and it might seem like, oh, why would you want to do that? Hold yourself back that much, not even having vegetables. I know it sounds absolutely crazy, but the research I did on it, listening to other people who have done it, and then just like, I was like, I'm just gonna try it and like see what happens. And after a month of being on it, I never have felt better literally in my entire life. Energy levels, amazing. Brain fog, gone. I can think very clearly. I can get things done more efficiently. Like the way my body feels, I can't even describe it. And in the process, I've lost basically 15 pounds. It's worked out really, really well for me. But once again, everyone do what works for them. And the reason I said carnivore slash keto is I do have a few exceptions that if you were to stick to a traditional carnivore diet aren't technically allowed in it. It's so like I'll have mushrooms, I'll have pickles, I'll have coffee with like anything sugar-free I think is fine in my diet and sugar-free drinks like uh, Coke Zero, stuff like that. Which is why I think it is more of keto because every once in a while I will have a little bit of carbs or some vegetables which do have carbs in them. Maybe Maybe like a cookie that has sugar and carbs in it but those are like pretty rare and that's why I say like the 80 20 rule which puts me more in the category of keto than carnivore but I think the best way to describe it is soft carnivore hard keto the reason I decided to do carnivore over just keto as a general like most of the time is because when I tried to do keto before I could not figure out how to like balance carbs like how much can I eat I'm confused how do I figure out how much I'm eating and with carnivore it sounds restrictive but for me it's worked so good because I can eat the same thing every day and so now I have like my favorite like eight to ten meals and I just cycle them and it's literally amazing I don't have to think about like oh how many carbs is in this because there's none and once again the goal for me isn't just to lose weight that's been a positive side effect and something that I did want to happen and I am kind of still at the beginning of this journey I mean I'm only like two months in I'm still having like carbs here and there Thanksgiving's coming up I had a Thanksgiving meal today and this is a great example like I was like okay it's Thanksgiving 80 20 rule I'm gonna have like mashed potatoes and stuff I literally feel so sick it's disgusting like I I wish I could just go to sleep right now. I'm tired. I feel sick. I need a nap. Not a good time. And that is why I love carnivore so much because the carbs and the sugar just make me feel awful. And one of my goals was to figure out what makes my body feel good, feel fueled, and feel ready to go all the time. I also get full so easy. Like what used to fill me up would be like double what I eat now because it's like protein and fat just fills you up so fast. Once it goes into the new year, I'm going to get a little bit more strict because I love the idea of having discipline and really just feeling good all the time because right now whenever I do have my treats like sugar carbs I just feel awful and I hate it like I hate the way it makes me feel but it's like that inner like oh I just it tastes so good I can't say no problem with me is like oh I'm just gonna have one cookie done that doesn't work for me if I have one I'm gonna eat the whole plate and once again you definitely do not have to eat like I eat I know it's a little strict but it's it's the only thing that's gonna work for me um anyway I don't need to go into like too much crazy detail if you guys have questions let me know Okay, so when talking about diet, I think it's important to throw this in because you know, a lot of us are like adults and we'll have a drink here and there. So I'm gonna talk about alcohol for a second. I do drink like every once in a while. And especially if I'm like going and getting like a drink at a restaurant or something, usually there's a lot of sugar in those drinks. And I really, really avoid drinking sugar. If I am gonna have sugar, it is gonna be in something so banger like a brownie. So what's worked out and like even other people who do strict carnivore say that if you are going to have alcohol, it's vodka, tequila, and whiskey mixed. Personally, I do mixed with any sugar-free drink so if I am gonna have a drink it's usually a vodka with like a sugar-free sparkling water or something like that over like the past little like Thanksgiving meals and stuff I have had a glass of wine with dinners and there's a lot of sugar in it but I'm once again I'm like you know I'm not gonna be strict my entire life you know what I'm saying like I'm gonna have a glass of wine here and there but overall if I were to have a cocktail I try to keep it a sugar-free vodka tequila or whiskey and I really don't drink that much much, so it's not a huge deal but I don't feel the need to completely cut out alcohol before I talk about like all the benefits what's been happening how I feel and all that what's changed in my life I want to talk about exercise sorry I'm looking at my notes so I have a treadmill and a standing desk so I'll usually walk like 40 minutes maybe two 40 minute walks super slow during my work day while I work obviously not everyone has that capability I work from home I do like to get a lot of steps in get walks in because it's just like easy exercise and I think it is important to exercise just for your overall health like forget even losing weight or anything exercise is so good for your health so I try to do that some days I don't do it I'm not perfect I'm not gonna act like I've been super strict with all of this um and then 
then I've also picked up like heavily working out in the past three weeks. So most of the weight that I lost had nothing to do with working out, just to throw that out there. And I've just been working out after work. I go on walks, I might do some runs. I've been kind of getting into running. A lot of cardio just because I want to build my um, heart muscle and be able to like not run out of breath when I walk up the stairs. And then I've kind of started incorporating a little bit of weightlifting as well. So I just like to do what makes my body feel good. Sometimes I'll just do some stretching or some mobility. It kind of just switches up every time I go work out. I just do it to feel good. Get those endorphins going, all that stuff. And to wrap up, just overall, like how do I feel? Where can I tell the differences? How did this all go? So I just want to preface by saying if you're going to start keto or carnivore, you'll probably get the keto flu. So the first two weeks that I started this diet, I felt worse than anything ever, but everyone was like, just push through, just push through. So here are some of the symptoms. It's a little graphic. Major diarrhea, like not a solid poo for probably three weeks. Super tired, headache, nausea, all of that for like a week. After that though, I started to like really notice some major changes, like sustainable energy, like I've talked about, like not needing a nap after I eat, being able to stay up for however many hours in the day I want, being able to wake up ready to go. My brain feels more clear. I don't get like brain fog anymore. And then like the more I've lost weight, it's really weird. So here's a few things I wanna talk about as far as like actually losing fat. My face is so much less puffy like you can kind of start to see my jawline again and like this is only a little bit under 15 pounds I think I'm at like I've lost 13 pounds so imagine when I get to my goals like it's so weird like my arms you can start to kind of like see muscle okay you probably can't I'm not even gonna flex because it's probably embarrassing I first lost it in my face my shoulders my arms and my legs now it's kind of starting to come off like stomach backside area which is where I really wanted to leave so it's just really weird to like see my body go through these changes because I've never really lost a significant amount of weight to be able to tell and it's just really Really cool I think it's like cool that we can just like change our bodies like that overall just like health energy all of that I just feel like really really amazing but I'm pretty happy with how I'm doing it right now I'm really proud of myself and I think the best result honestly has been learning how to control my mind and that like urge to just go for the chips or the brownies and then just feel awful after like being able to feel good all the time is incredible life-changing but yeah that's pretty much the video sorry if I ranted I tried to get through it fast but you know me I talk a lot uh, basically changing my eating habits is is what's gonna to do it so if you are looking to lose weight that's something you're interested in find like a diet there's so many different ones out there that you can try and do one that's going to be sustainable for you everyone has different mindsets that they're in different ways of going about things my cat is meowing at me and you just got to do what is going to be sustainable in the long run for you because you don't just want to lose fat you want to be able to keep it off and you want to be able to feel good so I hope you guys enjoyed this video a little different than normal just sitting and talking but that's that's been my journey so far and I was See you guys in the next video. Bye!